What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video and guys the other day we did best budget players in Mutt right now and today we're gonna do best players in Mutt right now so if you got some coins this is a perfect video for you and uh, also guys if you guys want some coins comment 100k in the comment section below y'all already know 100k giveaway is about four days away right for all the new content on Monday it is four days right yeah, it's about four days. So four days until the 100K giveaway, man. And y'all already know, uh, you got to be subscribed to do that. So subscribe for me. Turn on uh, Noti Gang and join the Noti Gang. Turn on that Noti Bell and join the Noti Gang. And uh, smash that like button. But let's get into it, man. So, guys, Xbox Series X Madden is out. I'm not on it right now because you have to do a 47 gig update on both systems I use. My brothers and mine. So... I mean, it is a little tough to do so, so I have to download that. I probably will be streaming tomorrow if I get the chance. I hope I do because I definitely want to stream that tomorrow. Um, honestly, if not today, if I can, that'd be pretty cool if I could today too. So, I mean, yeah. Guys, Dante Culpepper is a stud, straight stud. Uh, he's got 85 speed, 93 throw power, 89 short, 87 mid, and a 90 deep accuracy. 89 throw under pressure, 90 throw on the run, 90 play action. Uh, this card's a beast. Where's this spin with Jumar? Not too good. But also Josh Allen, where's he at? He's definitely one of the best too. Um, who else is here? Oh, Watson. Watson could actually be in contention. I haven't seen his stats since the upgrade. 87 speed, 93 throw power, 91. Oh, so Watson is definitely, Watson's like a better version of the uh, Tim Tebow. Definitely a stud. 93 throw power, 87 speed, fire there. Also, Josh Allen, wherever he's at, we're going to show him quick. And that's pretty much it for QB. Michael Vick for a scrambler, if you want to scramble. Scramble. Uh, scrambler, quarterback. 85 speed, 95 throw power, 89 short, 88 mid, and 87 deep accuracy. 86 throw under pressure, 92 throw on the run, 87 play action. 82 juke move. This card's pretty good. Very, very good, actually. Halfback. Um... Halfback, I'm going to go with... I mean, a lot of people are saying this Herschel Walker. So, I mean, he's got 92 speed, 93 excel, 90 agility, 89 carrying, 90 change of direction, 90 trucking, and 88 break tackle. Um, for being honest, this guy's it. I mean, he, he really is. He is the... the Probably the... I don't want to say the best, but, like, I guess he... I mean, he could be. I guess he is the best, honestly. Like, I don't really know anyone else that's really catching up with those stats. And he's honestly kind of cheap too, which is pretty fire. I mean, that's I'm gonna just go with him, honestly. Guys, I'm gonna be real with you. Don't get, don't ever get Barry. I'm not a Barry guy, if I'm being honest. Uh, wide receiver. We have a lot for wide receiver, if I'm being honest. We have a lot. So get ready, man. We're not really gonna go over a lot of these stats because it's gonna take up a lot of time. But Carmichael, one of them. Terry McLaurin, one of them. Terry McLaurin speed. Harold Carmichael, bro. Somebody told me the other day, and I was like, no, he's terrible. Bro, 90 speed, 92 jump, 89 catching, 91 catch track, 91 spec catch, 91 short, 87 mid, and 89 deep route run. This guy's also 6'8. So you put Sprinter on him. He's gonna be a 92 speed. Well, if I put Sprinter on him, he's a 92 speed. I don't know about you guys, but if you have Sprinter upgraded fully, 92 speed. Not only that, but I don't know if you can get the power up for this card. I'm not too sure. I think you can, right? I don't really know. But if there's a power up for Harold Carmichael, that card's in. It's a stud. So, uh, Marquise Brown, one of them. Marquise Brown, Scary Terry, Harold Carmichael. Um, people say Lynn Swan, but I don't really know. Julio, definitely one of them. Um, where else? Chad Ochocinco, one of them. Calvin, one. Uh, Calvin's not really Calvin, if I'm being honest. He's just a nice name to have on the team. Um, and then the best one, in my opinion, is Tyreek Hill. I mean, you can't go wrong with this Tyreek Hill. He's got everything good. 94 speed, 87 jump, 89 catching, 87 catch traffic, 88 spec catch, 90 short, 89 mid, and 93 deep route run. So this Tyreek Hill card is a stud. 92 juke move as well. Uh, you can't go wrong with him. So now time for the old, oh, actually, no, tight end. Almost forgot. I'm going to be real with you. For fast, it's still going to be that Darren Waller LTD, but, oh, wait a minute. Eh, nah, Antonio Gates is still my boy, still the man around here in my opinion. Let's do this Jeremy Shockey is though, 87 speed. Oh, never mind, dude. Jeremy Shockey is the best tight end in this game, man. Jeremy Shockey, 
You want it, man. No, I got to pick up that card. Wow, that card's good. You got 87 speed and 93 catching. That's a good card there. And, uh, ooh, I didn't see this left tackle. I didn't see a lot of these campus heroes, if I'm being honest. Oh, okay. So, eh. I think he can definitely win the left tackle award, depending on Orlando pace. 92 run block, 92 pass. Yep. All right. So, this campus hero is the best left tackle. 121K, too. I'm going to have to scoop him. He's pretty fire. Left guard. Um, Matt Newcomb probably, or John Hanna, or Steve Hutchinson. Actually, no, it's probably Norwell. Yeah, it's probably Norwell. 93, yeah, nah. I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna say Norwell, probably Norwell. If not, let's see these stats. <laughs> it's still Norwell, but I mean, these campus hero cards are very good. If I'm being honest, they were, they were not playing around on these wildcard Wednesday cards this week, man. Bruce Matthews. Oh, Matt. It's Matt Burke, man. Matt Burke's a stud. We're just going to compare Matt Burke to Bruce Matthews quick. He's got 92 pass block, 91 run block. Yeah. All right. So either way, if you're a pass blocker, I would go. All right. Actually, I didn't really read it, but they're kind of tied. Bruce Matthews, Matt Burke, for sure. Randy Crawl. I'm going with Brandon Shreve here, honestly. I have him myself. I should just compare him, but whatever. 90 run block, 92 pass block, or you yeah, Jonathan Ogden's better. Uh, actually, I would honestly go with Ryan Ramschek. I'm being honest. I think Ryan Ramschek's the better move. I do have Ryan Ramschek fully powered up, though. If you, But, I mean, 94 pass block. That's insane. That's very good. So, that's it for the offense. Now time for the defensive side of the ball. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I, I, I mean, actually, yeah. I'm going to go with Jack Youngblood, if I'm being honest. I think Jack Youngblood's the best one. Depending on Robert Mathis. All right, so they all have their own thing in their own way, but I mean the finesse move goes to goes to uh, Trace Armstrong. I mean, I, they're the left end is kind of a tricky situation, honestly. Like you can go either way. Right end, we're going with Aaron Donald, man. Aaron Donald, here he is. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with my boy Aaron Donald. Not even gonna talk about the stats. He's just the goat. D tackle, Leroy Glover. If you have him, he's the goat. V very difficult to choose. Oh, Warren Sapp, actually. He's probably the best one. Yeah, it's Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp's the best one. He's a power rusher. About 91 power move, 90 finesse, 93 block shit, 92 play rec, 90 tackle. Yeah, Warren Sapp, best D tackle. Alongside Vince Wolfork, Nick Fairley, if you really want to go there. Didn't mean to click on Nick Fairley. D tackle's taking up a lot of time, so I'm just going to stop it there. Ricky Jackson's pretty good. 87 speed as well. Mm, Ricky Jackson's low key a move, but his zone coverage is doo doo. So, I mean, I don't really know. Ricky Jackson, Mo Lewis, Anthony Barr. There's really no crazy good left outside linebacker in the game right now, if I'm being honest. Middle linebacker, Sam Mills, if you got him. Um, who else? Honestly, you know who's really good? Jalen Smith, the 91. Very good. Uh, this Jonathan Ville was pretty good, too. His speed's a little low, but this card's pretty good. Not going to lie. Let's see what his zone's at. 90, oh, we just saw it. 85 zone. This Jonathan Ville was definitely got a run for its money in there yeah jonathan vilma definitely a good one right outside linebacker i'm gonna go with lawrence taylor still to be honest actually i don't know about that yet we're depending on depending on these cards 84 speed all right it's not that you gotta have high speed high bro i'm gonna go with lawrence taylor or demarcus Ware. i haven't really oh no this Derek thomas card isn't it very good 88 speed. Okay, yeah. This Derek Thomas card's the move. Best probably right. Uh, zone coverage stinks, but it's got good speed. Let's see what this Demarcus Ware card has. Whoa, 89 speed? Yo, this Demarcus Ware card could be it. His zone coverage is awful, but I mean, he's got 89 speed. I mean, it really depends on what you guys prefer. So that's it for the linebackers. Top of the corners. We have a lot of corners. Like receivers, we have a lot of corners. Here we go. Um, here we go. Dar I know Darius Williams is pretty fire. Uh, but I, I wouldn't get him if I were you guys. Only if you're not trying to go cheap way. Dion's very good. DRC, Marlon Humphrey, Darrell Revis. Um, I want to say that's pretty much it for the 92s. It is. George Jenkins is very good too. Shaq Griffin's very good too. I heard Shaq Griffin's just cheeks, but I mean, his stats are very good. Night Train, very good. Very underrated. I feel like people crap on him too much. I don't really know. But those are the corners. Time for the free safety. Here we go. 
Um, Buddha Baker? Nah, isn't his star stats cheeks? He got like 89 speed, 91 speed. His, his, uh, his coverage is not it. Not it, man. Reggie Nelson, what's his thing? 89 speed. Uh, not bad, but not the best. Not the best. I think Cliff Harris is going to win this one. Didn't the, pa the ba uh, Cowboys just get a very good safety? Free safety, too. Isn't it literally Cliff Harris? It is. So I think Cliff Harris is going to win this one. Yeah, Cliff Harris is going to win this one for sure. Uh, isn't Ronnie Lott here, too, or is he strong? He is here. So let's see what Ronnie Lott is. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, Cliff Harris for this one. And then last but not least, Jamal Adams at strong safety. He will be here for a while, if I'm being completely honest. I would think so. Ed Reed, people say, but let's compare him. Same speed, better man. Eh. I would honestly, I'm gonna be real. I'm going with Jamal Adams. I mean, the hit power difference, the zone coverage is only a one. The man coverage difference is a big one. The pursuit's way better on Jamal. All Jamal's stats that he has better are way better. You know what I mean? But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, turn that noti bell, and join the noti gang. Guys, I'll be trying to scream, stream as hard as I can tomorrow or maybe even later today for the new Madden 21 uh, Enhanced Edition. That's pretty much it, guys. Peace.